Here's how to get Neoforge for Minecraft 1.21.7. As you can see, I have mods working. I'm going to teach you how to add Neoforge to the game. Let's go. Okay, so the first step is to click the second link in the description. That's a quick article on how to install Neoforge in case I go too fast in this video. But if you want to make it straight to the point, go down to step one and press Neoforge. That is going to redirect you to the Neoforge site. And in here, I want you to select the Minecraft version that you want. And then once you have it, which is 1.21.7 in this case, press where it says click here to download installer. As you can see, the download will begin right away. And I want you to place the installer file in your desktop. Desktop. You can find that file here on your recent download history or within the default downloads folder of your PC. Simply find it in here and then once you see it, go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop. Now it's time to begin the installation. First, make sure you have closed your Minecraft game as well as your Minecraft launcher and it is very important that you have played Minecraft 1.21.7 at least once on your PC. Now go ahead and double click on the Neoforge installer which is going to open like this and you're going to select install client and then you're going to press proceed. And if the Neoforge installer didn't open, perhaps you don't have Java 21 and Java 21 it's a requirement when installing mods for Minecraft and especially Minecraft 1.21.7. So I'll leave you this article in the description. Pretty much, you head over to Java 21 site, click download, and then you hit next a couple of times. You have Java 21 installing in no time, and then you'll be able to install Neoforge and any other mod that you want for Minecraft. And while Neoforge is installing, if you need a Minecraft server, the first link in the description will give you 25% off your server with Apex Hosting, but this is only limited to the first 25 people to use the first link in the description. So again, I'm gonna leave that link, support the channel if you use that link, and also, you get a good deal with Apex Hosting. Now, checking back with Neoforge, we see that it has finished installing. So let's go ahead and press OK right here. That is going to close the installer. And now we could delete this file, like for example, the TXT file that was created, as well as the Neoforge installer. Now for this video, to test out Neoforge as a mod loader, I downloaded the physics mod, which you could also go ahead and download. And I'll leave you the link for it in the description in case you want to download it as well. But now, let me teach you how to add mods to Neoforge and how to play Neoforge. First, go ahead and open your Minecraft launcher. When your Minecraft launcher opens, if you install Neoforge properly, you're going to see it selected here. But we're not going to play just yet. I'm going to teach you how to add mods. Head over to installations right here on the top and make sure you select modded on the top because without modded you won't see Neoforge in here. Now once you see Neoforge, hover over it and press where it says open installations folder. That is going to open a folder that contains a lot of files but in this folder we're only looking for another folder called mods. Now my mods folder is right here but if you were not to have a mods folder and I'm actually going to delete mine, if you don't have a mods folder don't freak out all you have to do is press new, press folder and then just go ahead and name it mods, M-O-D-S. There you go, you could create the mods folder yourself. Now go ahead and open this folder, you most likely don't have any mods in here and all you have to do is drag and drop your mods into here. For example, I'm going to be using the physics mod like I told you earlier. If you're going to be using any other mods, just make sure you add them in here. Just make sure those mods are compatible with Neoforge and with Minecraft 1.21.7. Once you've done that, you can close this folder, head back into your Minecraft launcher, and now launch the game using Neoforge. You're going to press play right here, which might give you this prompt. Read through it, and if you agree, click understand, and then hit play one more time. Now, once your game opens, you know that you're in Neoforge because it says it down here, but also you have the mods option here, which you could go ahead and see which mods you're running. Now, let's go ahead and launch a world and test if our mod is working. Now, if you remember, I added the physics mod, meaning that whenever I break a block, it should act like some weird physics and you will see in a second what I mean. Look at this. There we go. The physics mod is working perfectly, which means that Neoforge is working without any troubles. Well, there you guys have it. How to download and install Neoforge for Minecraft 1.21.7. If this video helped you all, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys next time.